Let's look at some other ways that we can tear paper. There are so many methods and ways that we can tear paper and I just want to show you a few more so that you could choose the method that you like best. Um, I have here just a paper that I've made and I'm going to go ahead and uh, duplicate it because we're going to uh, play with it and I want to have s this preserved so I can do a different method on, on that layer. These methods are all going to use the lasso tool and freehand drawing and I'm going to just do this really quickly. You might want to take a little bit more time at it than I am. But you want to just draw and be jagged and kind of go wherever you want to cut your paper. And in this case I'm going to go all the way out in the gray area so that I don't have to be careful to uh, complete it and there is my selection. I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard and you'll note that my selection is still preserved. Now I can um, hit the up arrow on my keyboard and just move that selection up you can see just so that it's a little bit uh, into the paper and now the edge that's within the selection is what's going to be affected by anything we do to it. And so if I go to the enhanced drop down menu and choose levels or, or control L for levels and just grab this slider here and, and lighten that paper up, uh, that edge up a lot that might be the first step. There's no right or wrong way to how you're going to stylize this edge. Um, you play with things and uh, see what you can come up with uh, that looks good for you. Um, you may want to use uh, noise. Adding noise is a, a common thing uh, done to the ripped edges. Um, I have monochromatic. If you take that off then you get um, uh, you see here when I go in close you can see all the little colors so you want monochromatic to take all those colors out and uh, you know just do whatever looks sort of realistic and click OK. I'm not going to take a lot of time with it. Another common one um, that you might use on this edge is the crackler and you can see here in this uh, view that it really um, that alone really makes it look realistic and so um, just play around you can add all sorts of filters you can add uh, you can uh, adjust shadows, uh, brightness and contrast might be something else. See how that, that really brightens it up there or makes it a little darker. I kind of like it a little darker. Just uh, play around with filters. Come up with your own method for that edge. And then I'm going to hit Control D on my keyboard and there is my torn edge. Now you know this isn't always the best way to do it because this is now permanently torn. Um, so let me show you some other ways. Let's duplicate this original layer and get another one to play with. And another thing that we could do is we're taking this lasso tool just as we did before whoops, and drawing a you know jagged edge. Go all the way out here to complete it just as we did before and hit delete on the keyboard. I'm going to hit control D this time and next what I'm going to do is duplicate this new layer that we've made and I'm going to get rid of most of this. Uh, I drew a selection. I forgot to tell you what I did. <laughs> hit delete on my keyboard and um, if I turn this layer off, you can see what I've done now to this uh, extra layer. Hit Control D to deselect and bring this layer below the other layer. I'll turn that one back on. Um, now with this 
new layer, that's the small layer, is the active layer. I'm going to hit the down arrow key just to move it down a little bit. Maybe want to move it to the right a little bit. And I'm going to apply those same principles to it that we did to the, the selection. We're going to make it lighter. We might apply the crackle crackler. Um, we might add noise. These are just the most common ones. And now you can see I have an edge here. But if I don't like what I've done with all the filters and things, it's on its separate layer. And so um, I can start over with that rip again if I want to. So this, in a way, is a better method. If I want to duplicate that, and let's go down to this lower layer, and use my arrow keys to nudge it about maybe run um, some more things on it you know make it look a little bit different than the one before and uh, you can uh, do that to make it a little bit more of a wild tear then if you want you can even go crazy and um, uh, use some of the skills that were in uh, the other tutorials that I taught. Um, let's get this spatter brush and our spatter eraser and I'm going to come along here and just kind of randomly erase the edges. You can see that's making it look a little more realistic yet. just to randomly erase. You can get the, um, where did it go? The smudge tool. I'm going to get this spatter smudge and just kind of pull. And this really makes it look um, really ripped. So you can do all sorts of things with this. There's no right or wrong way to rip your paper. And as I, um, I shared in some of the other layouts or the other tutorials, I'm rushing to get this tutorial done. If you go back to the paper layer, you can also smudge it right into the uh, rip so that it is not so defined and that makes it look even uh, more ripped and so if you don't like it you can get rid of one of the layers and start over um, let's say I wanted this a little bit uh, lighter I can lighten it even more or maybe this one is the one that needs to be lightened But however you want to do to uh, make that uh, torn edge. And so that gives you some ideas um, of different ways, uh, some quicker than others. Depends on how much time you want to spend on it. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, um, just ask. Uh, there, I, I cannot tell you how many different things you can do to your tears and your rips to make them uh, look unique and realistic. And have fun.